Welcome to today's Tech Byte. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a PDF file. One of the most common questions that we get is how can I send an image of the, the design that I'm working on to my customer over email so that they can look at the progress that we've been making. One of the best formats and best looking files that you can send is a PDF file that happens to stand for portable document format. Most of you are familiar with the term bitmap or JPEG, those are image files. It's the same thing, only in my opinion a PDF gives you a better rendering uh, or a better capture of the screen that you're working with. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to open up a job that I have already created just for this example today. It's just a very simple job just so that I can uh, print out an image. And Let's go to the 3D screen and I'm going to zoom in a little, make it a little bit better and let's do a rendering. Now what I want you to understand about a PDF is that that is software that you have to install on your computer. There are two types of a PDF. One is a PDF reader which opens the file that you create and allows you to look at the image. The other is PDF Writer. That's the software that allows you to create the PDF file. You often hear us use the term print to PDF. Well that's, that's pretty accurate. If we were to print to a regular printer, a hard copy paper, we would click on the printer icon and we would print to a hard copy we are sending an image to the printer. Well, we're doing the same thing with a PDF file. We are sending an image to the PDF file. So just as we click on the print icon, we have to click on the print icon to access the PDF software. Now, the PDF readers are generally free. Most of the time, a computer will have a PDF reader already installed. If not, there are many, many PDF readers on the internet and you can download and use them for free. Uh, the most probably the most common is, is Adobe software. It has PDF readers and writers. Now the writer software which actually creates the file generally you have to pay for that. There may be some that are free out there. You can check and see. Uh, most of the time you're going to have to pay for that and that's where you install it on your computer. So on this computer I happen to have uh, Qt PDF which is just one of the many many products out there. Uh, that is my writer. So again you install the software once you've paid for it and it's going to be listed under your print options. Now let me move this screen down so you can see it better. There's my HP printer but in this case I'm, we're, we are using Qt PDF writer. So with that selected I'm going to print and it will come up in just a moment. And here I'm going to save it to my desktop and test one is fine. And so I have now created that file. So let's go out there on my desktop and I'm going to look at it. If I right click on PDF test one, I'm going to open with uh, let's open this with Adobe just to show you that even though I created it with Qt PDF, any reader is going to be able to open this. So I click on Adobe Reader and there it is. That's the image that I wanted to send to my customer. And as you can see that's a very s small file. It's very convenient for you to just add it as an attachment to your email to the customer. And like I said if they don't have the a, a reader uh, they can go to the internet download one for free very easily. So that's how you create a PDF file of an image that you want to send to your customer. This completes today's training movie. I would like to remind you of your training options. The help files are available within each Cabinet Vision product. The eSupport technical website is a great resource for questions and answers and features a technician monitored forum. Regional training classes are available so please contact your customer service representative for the classes in your area. 
If you would like someone to come on site to your location and train your team, this can be arranged. Online training is a very convenient method for training over the Internet. The e-learning training series is a series of topics which you can purchase online and download for immediate use. If you have questions about this or anything else, please go to our website, cabinetvision.com. We look forward to you joining us next time. Thank you for watching.